I'm in pr pr procurement and sourcing here. We're going to have a look at the purchasing policies and specifically a policy which is called the category policy rule. So the category policy rule has some parameters that define the behavior of that category. So one of them is vendor selection. And so you'll see I've got a category assigned here so I can pick from the allowed uh, categories in the category hierarchy from a procurement perspective. And so we have a few different options in terms of like vendor selection, uh, whether we show a questionnaire, category matching, receiver requirements, deduction requirements, um, uh, accrue, purchase on expense. But specifically, let's have a look at the behavior of this one, vendor selection. Now I have a few different options. I can allow the user to select only vendors that are preferred vendors that are preferred or approved don't allow them to select any vendor or allow all vendors um, so that would be a choice if you're trying to restrict who can buy something in this category from specific vendors from a procurement control perspective then you could select uh, this option so let's have a look so the first two option which is preferred and preferred and approved I'm going to set that on here so I'll close this out. Now you set the pr approved and preferred on the procurement category. So I'm going to go into procurement sourcing um, setup and the procurement categories. So I'm going to come down to my cleaning category here and if we have a look we have vendors. Um, so under the vendor tab you'll see that we have uh, three different vendors listed here and then we can nominate a vendor status. Are they approved or are they preferred? So this is just a drop down to say approved or preferred. So that's what we've got. So three different uh, vendors specified here on that particular procurement category. So let's go and have a look at a purchase requisition and see how this comes into effect. So I'm going to say this is my purchase rec policy. Um, it's a consumption purchase requisition. Um, I'm going to go and add a line well, I'll add it from the dialog here so that we can see the effect. So I'll go to non-catalog items. So this is category based. So you'll see, um, I'll just put in my details and I'm going to go and pick the category which is cleaning. And so if I drop this down then the three vendors that I've got here are those preferred and approved. Okay, so it shows that we've got those. So I'm going to select one here and then I can add that line. Uh, if I specify the unit, I'm going to say each will add that line. So that's a category line. Now, I had the policy set to preferred and approved. So I'm going to go and change the policy and we'll have a look at the effect. So if I go to the policy, category, policy rule, and I'm going to change this to not allow preferred and approved but only the preferred vendors. So I'll close that out which will save it. We'll go back to our purchase requisition line and I'm going to click on the details to see the details and so you'll see in the drop down here that we only have the one vendor here because they're the preferred vendor so that's the effect of the policy on the categories. Now it's important to um, see how the effect works on item purchases. So I'm going to go back into this purchase requisition. I'm going to add another line here and in this case I'm going to buy it from the catalogue item. So I have a, an item here which is 579 and so I'm going to add that to my list here and we're going to say OK and so you'll see 
um, this has got an item number at 579. Now if I go to the details now and we edit this, you'll see that this is assigned the vendor US 107. And if I drop down the list, then that's the vendor I get, um, which is not what is specified on the category. So even though the category is, is cleaning, um, we have a different behavior when it's an actual item. So this particular vendor is actually set up on the item. So if we go and have a look at the item setup, you'll see that if we go down to purchasing we have the default vendor that's set up on that item so that's going to be essentially the preferred vendor for this particular item so something to keep in mind in terms of the slight difference in behavior um, as well you'll see up in the top the category guidelines so the category guidelines will show the vendors that are set up in that category hierarchy approved and preferred um, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can choose them for an item um, so just a difference in behavior from a category to an item Now it's important to see the difference. This is a purchase requisition. There is a slightly different behavior in the purchase order document. So in the purchase requisition, the purchasing policies are applied, but let's go and have a look at a purchase order and the behavior. So I'm gonna go and create a new purchase order. And when I create the purchase order, um, I'm gonna create it for a vendor um, that is not in the preferred list. So I'm going to pick the US 101. Now on a purchase order we can specify a procurement category. So I'm going to go and pick the cleaning category. And I'll say I want one of these services for example. Now I've saved that um, and this is for US 101 but when we have a look when we have a look at the purchasing uh, procurement category set up the policies enforced for uh, preferred um, but you'll see that um, the US 101 is not one of these preferred vendors so the purchasing policy doesn't take effect on the purchase line so keep that in mind in terms of if you're using this maybe there's some additional validation you want to put on this now I'm going to add another line here and I'm going to choose that same item that we did before on the requisition but you'll see in this case we'll get an error um, or a warning message. Um, it says vendor code US 101 is not authorized for this product. This is a different uh, approval uh, mechanism. So I'm going to go to the setup of the item. So this is my released item, so the 579. If I go up to purchase, you'll see that I have approved vendors. So this is a different approval mechanism to the category based uh, approved vendors. So if I go to set up here you'll see that I have an approved vendor which is US 106 um, and so this approval mechanism doesn't apply to the purchase requisition only to the purchase order. So um, that's something to keep in mind in terms of the differences of these approvals and the difference between the requisition and the purchase order. Now this ab vendor approved is triggered based on the approved vendor check and so you'll see I've got a warning specified here um, so it's on the item it's as, as well defaulted from the item model group um, as an initial default so you could set that up for a group which is the uh, on the item model group so that's a quick run through of some of the behavior uh, specifically on preferred vendors and the relationship to the purchasing policy and specifically the purchasing policy which is category policy rule.